Welcome to the Kansas Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admission Officers College Fair. We're so excited to have you participating in this event. We have some fantastic schools here with us today. Each will have six minutes to share more about their institution, but we'll be around for the entire session to answer questions. My name is Charlotte and I will be your facilitator. Before we get started, a few housekeeping items. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be, just, be sure to check out the schedule on the website. This presentation is being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com slash Kansas. I'd now like to turn it over to our first presenter, Barton Community College. All right. Um, my name is Jonathan Mariani from Barton Community College, and I'm your admissions representative from Barton. Um, I also coach baseball here, so if you have any questions with athletics, uh, please just let us know. I'm kind of uh, best of both worlds here. Um, so I'll go ahead and get started. Um, Um, so Barton Community College, we have uh, multiple campuses here in the state of Kansas. We have a Fort Riley campus, um, a Fort Leavenworth campus, and our main campus is in Great Bend. Um, that's where we're located now. Uh, we do offer some programs fully online, uh, but most uh, our main campus is in Great Bend, Kansas. They're indicated on the map. We do offer a wide variety of programs, 138 uh, to be exact. Um, 27 of them are technical, um, hands-on technical programs. So um, most of those uh, technical programs are offered to um, get, you, get you in and get you out and get you right into the workforce. So um, those are great options as well if school's kind of not your jam. Um, if you are undecided not to worry, like I said, we have a ton of options for you. So just look around and uh, I'm sure we have something for you. I'm just gonna talk a little bit about campus life here and I will start with athletics. Um, we do have 22 collegiate sports here on campus. And um, uh, if you are interested in competing for those sports, uh, the best way to do that is to go to the website and look up contact information on our Cougar Athletics page. That is the best way to get in touch with coaches and to get your name out there as well. I know for a fact uh, that's what coaches look for in student athletes. Athletics, not your thing, not to worry. Uh, we do offer a ton of student activities and clubs here on campus as well. Um, I do encourage no matter what school you go to, to get involved with those clubs on campus. Uh, it's a great way to get involved on campus, uh, to get familiar with campus and to meet new people. Um, so you never know who you're going to meet in those things and who knows you might actually enjoy those clubs as well. Now to the important part, back to business here. I'm just going to talk a little bit about what it would cost to come to Barton. Um, so in-state tuition for Barton is $118 per credit hour. Um, so what does that even mean? Uh, well, most students take about 12 to 15 credit hours per semester. Uh, 12 hours is considered full time and um, most people take about 15. Um, so total cost, including 15 credit hour semesters twice a year, so two semesters for the year, and housing, you're looking at that $10,279 mark. Um, I know that can seem like a lot of money, and that's pretty scary, uh, but not to worry, there's a ton of financial aid offered out there. Um, this is our Barton Bound Scholarship. This is our bread and butter. Uh, this is why what we do. Um, this scholarship is offered uh, to Kansas high school graduates only. Um, 
Uh, you just have to be applied to the school by May 1st to be qualified for the fall of 22 uh, term. Um, we take either the ACT or the GPA score. Uh, it does not matter. We take the higher one, so do not worry if you're really bad at taking tests. Um, we do take either or. Um, it is good for up to 15 credit hours a semester, um, and it can be renewed uh, yearly. It is good for up to three years after high school, um, and is it is incentive based. So not to worry if you're not on that top rank. Um, you can raise it if your GPA is good enough by the end of the year. Uh, your scholarship can go up as well. So not to worry on that. Um, Enough about me talking about Barton. Uh, we'd be happy to have you come visit. Um, personalized camp campus visits are available Monday through Friday, so basically during the week. Um, you can sign up for those uh, through the website there, and there's a link at the bottom. Um, so come see me. You'll talk to me face to face instead of on a computer, which is always nice, and we'll show you around campus. So please come visit us. Um, that is all I have to talk about uh, today. Um, if you have any questions, I know I just threw a lot of information at you um, in a short amount of time. If you have any questions, feel free to call or text that number at the bottom. Um, thank you for your time and have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your school year. Thank you so much, Barton Community College for starting us out today. Next presenting will be Neosho Community College. Hi, I'm Amy Morris with Neosho County Community College, and I am the Director of Admissions here on campus, and we are going to talk a little bit about what we offer at the show. Some fast facts about NCCC. We have two physical campus locations. We are located on our main campus in Chanute, which is in Southeast Kansas. And then we have a satellite campus located in Ottawa, which is closer to Kansas City, uh, Lawrence, Topeka, that area. We offer an online campus. We have multiple sites that uh, we consider outreach where students can take NCCC courses for credit that are not necessarily located on either of our top three uh, campus locations. Lots of international students attend our campus, so you can always learn about another culture if you're interested. We have classes offered 52 weeks out of the year, which if everybody knows, that's every week of the year we have something going on. Our class sizes are fairly small. Uh, we average about 11 students to one instructor for our student faculty ratio. We have around 4,000 students attending our campuses each academic year, and we offer unlimited free tutoring to any current student. We offer 11 intercollegiate activities and sports on campus. We have five for men, five for women, and then co-ed is our cheer spirit squad. If you are interested in participating, we have a questionnaire that you can complete on our website, or you can reach out to admissions or the uh, coaches themselves to get set up with them. We also offer scholarships to our managers and statisticians. So if you want to be a part of the team, but not necessarily get all sweaty all day long or put ed, aren't necessarily the most athletic, we would love to have you as part of the team as the, our managers and stats people get to travel with all the teams. We offer numerous certificate options at our campus. Those that have asterisks next to them have a level one or level two certificate. Most of these can be earned in two to three semesters and don't take as much time to earn as an associate's degree. Although we do offer four different associate's degree programs. Oh, we offer the Associate of Applied Science, Associate of General Studies, Associate of Arts, and Associate of Science options. These take 64 credit hours to complete, and then you can either go straight into the workforce or transfer on to a four-year program. For student life, we have multiple clubs, programs, and activities offered on the Chanute campus and the Ottawa campus. Everything from our hashtag adulting club to our honors program. 
we have uh, band, vocal, history, uh, arts, and then we also have student ambassadors and student senate on both campuses. Our residence halls are located on the Chanute campus, which is where all of our athletics are located. We have Badeau Hall, which is our newer of the residence halls. It occupies 213 students. Each room is set up what we consider suite style, which means there are two to three people in a room and then two rooms that share a toilet and shower between the rooms. Then we also have Neo Can, which is our older residence hall. It's fairly uh, original to the campus. It is set up old school, so everybody in the hallway shares a community style, a locker room kind of situation for restrooms, but we still have two to three person rooms available. We have multiple scholarship opportunities that are available to students. You do have to uh, put in your application to the college. Also make sure you've completed that FAFSA online if you haven't done that yet. We offer anything from academic scholarships to service scholarships, activity scholarships, and then of course athletic scholarships are available. And then our contact information uh, is listed here. You can always get a hold of the Chanute campus or the Ottawa campus, uh, contact admissions with our email address, or just go to our website at www.neosho.edu. And if you have any comment, that is all I have for presentation today. If you have questions or concerns, feel free to reach out in the chat or contact us and we'll be happy to visit with you. Thank you, Neosho Community College. Next presenting will be Cowley College. Good morning, everyone. How are you all doing today? Um, my name is Brandon Burke. I am the admissions representative here at Cowley College. I'm gonna share with you guys a little um, insight with Cowley. Uh, we have five locations across the state of Kansas. Uh, our Kansas City campus um, is our main. This is a full campus experience with over 120 programs and pathways of study. Uh, we have exciting student life and championship athletics. Uh, first rate on campus housing and dining. Um, we also have quite a bit of support services. So whether that is in the admissions, our nurse, computer lab, counselors, tutoring, um, those are all available here on our main campus. We also have a, a campus located just about 15 minutes from here, and it is our Winfield Allied Health Center. Um, this is a nationally recognized health program. Um, those are with hands-on learning, partnering with area largest uh, concentration of healthcare facilities, and we have about of a, as high as 100% uh, certification rate just in our paramedic, EMT, and CNA courses. And of course, we are located in other locations um, across the Kansas area. So just want to kind of give you guys an insight with, uh, as a future student, um, we do have quite a bit of options, uh, whether you're looking into scholarships, whether you're looking at tuition and fees, uh, this is a great place to start. But not only is um, this a great place to start, but you can also go on here and you can do all of this virtually. So we have a lot of students that um, are not able to travel right now or uh, can't travel, so this is a great option. And I'd like to share with you guys this uh, video and um, I will start this and let you guys see our beautiful campus. We're having trouble uh, hearing the audio. You may need to reshare your screen and click, click the button that says uh, share audio as well. 
I'm sorry about that. What were you saying? Uh, we were having trouble hearing the audio. You may need to um, reshare your screen. And when it gives you the option, click the box that says share audio as well. Okay. Let me know if you guys can hear this. It didn't give me that option, so. It should say share sound. There we go. Perfect. Hi, and welcome to Cali College. I'm Kendall Ray, and I'm a student ambassador here on campus. We're out in front of the Golden Tiger, which is a part of Galley Johnson. And downstairs is our employee services and our student resources, such as enrollment. Be sure to visit cali.edu slash resources to visit our virtual tour. Next stop is the Nelson Student Center. Within the Nelson Student Center, we have the Tiger Deli, we have our Executive Director of Student Affairs, a Housing Director, a Student Life Counselor, an International Coordinator, a School Nurse, and then also downstairs is our Impact and Trio program. We have a game room and connected to the Nelson Student Center is Campus Security. Here at Cali, we have six housing options available for students, one that is off campus and five that is on campus. We have everything from free Wi-Fi to free laundry to all the other amenities. If living on campus is something that interests you, please be sure to visit our dorm tours at cali.edu slash resources. Cali College was found in 1922, and it was in the basement of the Arc City Junior College, which sat right where the Brown Center is today. In the basement of the Brown Center is classrooms, and in the upstairs is the right room which hosts community events and the Robert Brown Theater. We're here in W.S. Scott Auditorium, which is home to our basketball, volleyball, and wrestling teams. We have 16 nationally ranked athletic programs, and all sporting events are free for students. If you haven't experienced the Tiger spirit, this is where the magic happens. Our final stop is Ireland Hall. Ireland Hall is our oldest building on campus in the old Arc City High School. Upstairs is the Criminal Justice Department and downstairs is the Cosmetology Department. All right guys, so you kind of got a little bit of our campus and I hope that you guys can uh, come and visit us soon. Um, fall enrollment has opened for the fall semester, so if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. We will be happy to host you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much, Cowley College. Up next will be Kansas City, Kansas Community College. Hello, everybody. My name is Janet Matos. I am one of the recruiters here at Kansas City, Kansas Community College, or KCKCC. Um, so today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about our school. Um, so we are a public institution. Um, and we are in an urban location. So we are about a 15 minute drive from Kansas City, Missouri, but we are in Kansas City, Kansas. That gives uh, our students lots of different opportunities for internships and job opportunities. We are an open door college. So what that means is that regardless of your GPA or regardless of if you even took the ACT this year, we will accept you. Um, now there are seven out of over a hundred programs that require more supplemental information for the application for those programs. So let's say like nursing or anything like that. Um, but most of them you're going to get accepted. Um, and then we are a comprehensive community college. So we offer our academic programs. So typical business, psychology, um, history, 
English, any of those kinds of programs. And then we also offer our vocational programs. Um, so for our vocational programs, that can be anything from cosmetology to fire science, HVAC, welding, or even culinary arts. So here's some facts about our school. We were founded in 1923. Um, so we are about to turn 100 years old next year. Um, so we're super excited. We've been in the community for a very long time now, and we have lots of events planned for both our students and staff, as well as our community members. We have three different locations. So our main campus is located in Kansas City, Kansas. We have our tech center, which is, houses all of our vocational programs. And that one is less than a five minute drive from our main campus. And then we also have our third location in Leavenworth. Um, and it houses a lot of dual or concurrent classes for our high school students. But we also do offer some of our regular um, associate's degrees at that location as well. For our student to faculty ratio, so we have about 13 students for every one instructor that we have here on campus. So our average class size is about 20 to 22 students. Um, so it is a fairly smaller campus and we have about 5,300 students on our campus every semester. Um, and then we are the second most ethnically diverse school in the state of Kansas. Um, so really, really, that's something we're really proud of. We have students that come from all places, all steps of life. Um, we have lots of international students as well um, to help build that community around us. Um, so we do have over 100 programs. So 71 degrees, 29 certificates. Um, so the, certificate, the certificates are going to be more of our, of our vocational programs. Um, so again, that's gonna be anything from HVAC, welding, construction science, building engineering, um, we have a medical assistant program to our degrees, which can be anything from exercise science. Um, we do have the only mortuary science program in the state of Kansas, um, nursing, paramedics, any and all of that. Um, and so our programs have lots of different time ranges. So whether you're wanting to get in and out and immediately start working, or you're wanting to take a class and then transfer to a four-year school, um, our programs will let you do whatever you want. Um, so tuition wise, um, so for our in-state Kansas residents, you'd be paying about $113 per credit hour. Um, now our tuition prices listed here already include a $7 technology fee um, and a $15 student fee. So if you need to use a computer lab, if you need to use any of the resources that we have online, um, online or on campus, all of those are going to be free to you as a student because it's already included in your tuition. Um, so we do have scholarships on our campus. Um, so we have a wide variety. So we have our foundation scholarship, which we give to students um, that have applied. It's just one application that you would fill out every semester. Um, but once you submit the application, you can see if you qualify for over 35 scholarships that can range anywhere from 500 to $1,800. Um, and then some of them will be renewable. Some of them, you, it won't be, but you'll just apply again and you could be able to get it. Um, we have our Honors Presidential Scholarship. So for any students living specifically in our Wanda or Leavenworth County area, these are um, full ride tuition or full, full ride scholarships um, for full-time students. So if you're interested in that, um, I'll have my contact information at the end of this pre presentation. And then we also have our Performance Awards. Um, so if you're interested in any of these um, degrees or athletics, um, these can range from a partial to a full ride scholarship. Um, so here we have a list of all the resources that we have on campus. We have many others. Um, we have a wellness center, which is our gym for students. We have student health services, um, which is like a high school nurse. Um, and again, all of these are going to be free, regardless of if you use them once a semester or a hundred times a semester. A semester. Um, and we also do have free printing and parking here on campus. Um, the other thing that is really cool that I'd love talking about is our new housing. So this new housing actually opens up this August and applications for this new housing will open up this Friday. Um, so if you're interested in living on campus, um, it is right across from our main campus, maybe like a two minute walk at most. 
Um, so it's going to be very brain. It's going to be very new. It's brand new. Um, it has an outdoor amphitheater. It will have grills, a basketball court, great parking. Inside, it's going to be a four-person suite. Um, so what that means is, like in your suite, there's going to be four separate bedrooms. That bedroom is just yours, but then you'll share um, the kitchen, a living room, and two bathrooms in your suite. Um, as well as on every single floor, there's going to be study rooms and lounge areas. There's going to be a laundry facility on the bottom floor. There's going to be a game room um, for people who like playing video games. We're going to have different kinds of consoles like PS4, Xbox. We even have a Switch here on campus. Um, we have many organizations on campus, anything from, you know, psychology club to the music club to a freshman club. Um, so we don't only want you to come to campus just for classes. We want you to be involved. So we have many campus. Uh, organizations on campus. Um, we have four different kinds of sports for both men and women. So if you're interested, again, we can give you scholarships for those. Um, and then we have an athletics page on our website um, that you'll be able to fill out. And then lastly, we have our application process. So our application is free. There is no deadline application for us, um, but the earlier that you can apply, the better. Thank you so much, Kansas City, Kansas Community College. Um, and our final present presentation will be from Garden City Community College. Hi everyone, my name is Sydney. I'm the Director of Admissions at Garden City Community College. And I'll be going through our slideshow to just give you guys some information and details about our campus. Um, so again, my name is Sydney. I'm the director of admissions. In our office, we have two other admission reps. Samantha Garcia is our assistant director, and Kimmy Bassinger is our admissions rep and campus tour coordinator. So if you are scheduling a campus visit, Kimmy would be the one you're scheduling that with. So in today's presentation, we're going to go over our admissions process, the cost of attending and how to pay for school, what degrees and certificates we offer, and student life. So some facts about us, we are located in Southwest Kansas. We're about an hour from the Colorado border and an hour from the Nebraska, or Nebraska, sorry, Oklahoma border, um, about four and a half, five hours to Denver, five hours to Kansas City, and five hours to Oklahoma City. Uh, we do have about uh, 2,500 students enrolled on our campus. Our class ratio is 16 to one, so 16 students to one instructor. Most of our classes range around 12 to 13 students though, and some of our bigger, bigger general classes, you can have about 25 students in your class. We offer 48 programs and majors, which do include Associates of Art, Associates of Science, and our Certificate in Technical Programs. And we do give away around $1.5 million in scholarships every year. So the application process, um, our application is free and we're an open enrollment institution, which means uh, there's no minimum GPA required and we do not require ACT or SAT at all. But if you have taken them and want to use them for placement purposes, we can use your ACT and SAT scores. So once you fill out an application, you do have to submit two documents to be processed. One is our TB questionnaire form and the other is placement scores, um, whether again, that is your high, cumulative high school GPA, SAT, ACT scores, or if you wanna take the free AccuPlacer on our campus. Um, then you can fill out your scholarships in FAFSA. And then the housing application is opening up this Friday, April 1st for this next fall. Um, so that'll be the first round of housing applications. And then in June is when you get your roommates and can pick which housing option you'd like. And then enrollment opens the end of April, April 29th. If you're a junior, our application for the following fall and scholarship applications open up in August and September. Now the cost of attending Garden City Community College, we have a few different tuition rates. A uh, Finney County resident is $114 per credit hour. And all of these prices are tuition and fees and also include free textbooks. In-state is $115. Border state, which is Colorado, Nebraska, Missouri, Oklahoma, Texas, and New Mexico is $129. Out of state, $134 and then international 152. And just keep in mind, if you take any online classes, those are a flat rate of $150 per credit hour. 
So down here in the corner is an estimated cost of attendance for one full year. So if you live in state and you live in how and on campus, you're looking at a total of about $9,450 per year. And you divide that by two for each semester, what that is your bill due. We do have academic scholarships available at Garden City Community College. Um, they're awarded on a first come first serve basis and you can find that application on our website and it is awarded based on your cumulative high school GPA. We also offer work study positions where you can work up to 15 hours per week at $9 an hour and you only work when the college is open so Monday through Friday 8 to 4:30 p.m. Um, no weekends or evenings unless like if you work in our admissions office there may be some weekend recruitment events involved. All of our offices on campus have work study jobs, so a lot of students can find an office and something they're interested in. And it is nice because you only work when the college is open and your supervisors are very understanding with your schedule and finals and um, test makeup or midterms. So unlike if you worked off of campus, they may require evening and weekends, but not if you work on campus. We also offer athletic and activity and club scholarships. Um, for athletics, I know some other people have mentioned go to their website and fill out the questionnaire form for the coaches. That's the best way to get in touch with their coaches if you're interested in athletics is to go to our athletics page and fill out their recruitment questionnaire. We also offer game day helper positions where if you like being involved with athletics but you don't want to be on an athletic team, you can help set up for the games, um, run cameras, take pictures, run the music, stats, um, shag balls. There's several different positions available with running athletic events, and the more you're available, the larger that athletic game day helper scholarship would be. Here's the programs we offer at Garden City Community College. So as mentioned before, we do offer Associates of Science, Associates of Arts, Associates of Applied Science, and our certificate programs. So here on the left side under our academic programs, we do have several business options and our business degree can be completed fully online. We have computer um, systems, cybersecurity, we have education, early childhood, elementary, secondary, um, social work, psychology, and our exercise and pre-health. Uh, one thing cool to note about Garden City Community College is we are one of two cadaver labs um, at community colleges in the state of Kansas. So in your human anatomy lab, you are studying on a cadaver. Also in our certificate programs, we have nursing and you can complete your registered nursing degree at Garden City Community College. So do you do a year of pre-nursing and then you can apply for an LPN program and then the RN program next. So you can get all the way through an RN at Garden City Community College on our campus. We have automotive, welding, not listed here. We do have carpentry we have added to our programs. Um, so there's several options, EMT, paramedic. If you're interested in any of these, you can schedule a campus visit with us and have a private 30 minute meeting with each of our faculty in the area you're interested in. Thank you so much, uh, Garden City Community College. Uh, at this time, I'd like to invite all of our institutions to turn on their camera so we can do a few round robin questions. Okay, so the first question is, what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? And let's start with Barton Community College. Okay, can you repeat that? Sorry, I was- Oh, sure, absolutely. Me. So what advice would you give to someone going through the college search process? So advice that we would give to a student going through is to make sure that they have a list of things that they need from a community college and that we ask that they let us know what their needs are and that they make sure that they reach out to a community college that has those needs that they're looking for and desires of what they expect from a campus. Great, uh, Neosho Community College? To, to go along with what Martin mentioned, I would also highly recommend getting to those campuses and go see as many as you possibly can. Even though you may have your heart set on that one, you may walk on that campus and go, oh, this is not for me. And the one that you thought I never want to attend, you may walk on and instantly feel like you're at home. So if you've got those days built into your high school schedule, use them to your full advantage. This is all great advice. Uh, Cowley College, 
what advice would you give? Um, I'm right along with Barton and Neo Show. The community college world uh, is a great opportunity for any student. Um, I re recommend every student, you know, go and visit, uh, send in your applications. Most of the community college have free um, admissions. So that, that's a positive uh, part about attending. And then just, you know, making sure that each school, no matter, or each student, no matter what, uh, completes their financial aid world and submits it and turns in their IDs uh, to those colleges. Because that last minute, you may be like, oh, I want to go to Cali, but then something comes up and it's like, oh, I want to go to Neosha. Well, what's great is when you do that and you have all your financial aid um, intact and all together, it's a very easy transition, so. Uh, Kansas City, Kansas Community College. I'm just going to echo everybody. Um, definitely make sure that the college that you're going to has the program that you're interested in. The good thing about community colleges is we have your associates for general studies. So even if you don't specifically know if you're interested in psychology or business or whatever the case is, you can always get your general education requirements out of the way. Um, and then definitely go visit a campus or any and all campuses that are on your college list, um, because it really can make a difference in you selecting that college or not. Absolutely. Uh, Garden City Community College, what advice would you give? At this point, I'm echoing pretty much everybody else, but our biggest thing is visit, visit, visit. Um, like Amy mentioned, you may visit that campus and it instantly just feels like home. Um, I also would say any college you're interested in, apply for the scholarships early, um, even if you think there's a 2% to 5% chance of you going there, still fill out the scholarship application because a lot of scholarships are awarded first come first serve. So make sure you have that in place for yourself. And then if you decide not to go there later, it's not an issue. We just reaward that, those scholarships. Okay, let's move on to another question. What's one thing you want students to remember about your school? Uh, Barton Community College? We like our students to remember that we are a campus that prides ourselves on a community, um, that our campus is a community here and everybody is very friendly. We want them to also remember our Barton Brown scholarships and what we offer to our students and our small class sizes. Great. Uh, Neosho Community College? A lot the same. We're, we're a nice small town. If, if you want a, a small town feel with a few things to do, definitely uh, take one of our campuses. If you want more of a city experience, our Ottawa campus is perfect because they're about 30 minutes away from several large cities. If you want a chance to travel but, and go see big cities, come to Chanute. We're two hours from about five different places all the way around northeast, south, and west. And it, the nice little community college feel, it's, you're going to know everybody by first name. Cowley College, what's, uh, what's something that you want students to remember about your school? Uh, just the fact that we, as a community college, we know our students by name. Um, that's the, the best feeling is that you are a name and not just a number uh, when you go into that university setting. So uh, we see everybody, friendly faces, always having an open door policy across our campus. That's, that's the best part. Kansas City, Kansas Community College. Um, echoing again, so we are a small community college, um, but we do have that big city feel. Um, like I said, we have Kansas City, Kansas, um, and we have Kansas City, Missouri. So there's always something going on activities that will take students to as well. Um, but we want to make sure that our students know that if you need help, we are going to be here for you. And we want to build those relationships with those students um, to help you succeed, whether that's graduating and going straight into the workforce or graduating and transferring on to get your bachelor's degree. And Garden City Community College? Uh, going again as I'm last, but again- Hard to go last. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, you're more than just a student on our campus. Our faculty really care about every single one of our students are involved with them. And we have several free resources available to our students. We have free tutoring, 
free mental health counseling, and we have a campus closet that's full of all different sorts of supplies where if you need a hygiene product or a jacket or pencils, you can go take them for free. So we try to support our students as uh, much as possible in the whole student, not just your academics, your mental health, your social health, and your academics. Great. Okay, and we have one more question. What is one myth you'd like to debunk on the college admissions process? Uh, Barton Community College? I think we'd like to debunk that a community college doesn't, you aren't able to exceed as far with a community college degree as you are for your associate degree. Um, because most of our community colleges are offering you an associate degree in a smaller atmosphere than in your universities. So you are able to get just as great of an education in a community college at Barton as you are um, a four-year institution. Definitely. The Osho Community College? Yeah, you know, the whole, if you apply to us, especially most of the community colleges, there aren't ACT requirements. There's not GPA. If you're going to apply to us, we're going to accept you. <laughs> so it's when, when we say it's free to everyone, we're not kidding. It is everyone is, a, if you can come and do that online application, we're going to accept you with open arms and work with you as best we can, whatever your hopes and dreams are. College. Um, just kind of going off of what Amy said, it, that being free um, and no matter what situation you are in, um, whether you have a learning disability or you, you know um, you are not sure what you want to do in life, the community college world is probably the best way to uh, achieve that and find out who you are as an individual, because uh, there are so many of us in the community college world that will, you know, fight and, um, you know, make you succeed and see you succeed as an individual. Great, um, Kansas City, Kansas Community College, what's one myth you would like to debunk about the process? Yeah, so I hear a lot from students at community colleges you go to them just to get your vocational degree and then you go straight into the workforce. Um, but that's not necessarily true. Like that is definitely an option um, if that's you know, what you want to do. But um, we are an accredited institution. So if you do your associates in business here, you can transfer to any public institution in the state of Kansas um, and enter that four year school as a junior and just finish out your last two years, two years there. So you save a lot of money by coming here and you're still getting great quality education. And Garden City Community College? Yeah, um, I think just kind of echoing what Sasha said, how um, a community college isn't any less um, than a four-year university. And college algebra is college algebra, no matter where you take it. And with any of us here on this chat, you're going to pay less for the same credit you're getting at a larger university and potentially have a smaller class size and more help. Um, so the Kansas system of colleges does a great job with transfer credits. Um, and nationally. So yeah, I mean, English one is English one, no matter if you take it in a class of 15 or a class of 300. This has all been such great advice and I learned so much in this session. I hope that all of you did too. Um, so thank you for joining us. Um, when you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick five question survey and we'd appreciate any feedback that you can provide. We encourage you to check back um, to the schedule because there will be many more sessions tomorrow. Uh, and you'll be able to find this recording as well as the other session recordings at strivescan.com slash Kansas. All right, thank you so much. Bye.